Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Tesla stock. So, well, just to kick this thing off guys, we have a good news that Tesla's, well, Elon Musk's package has been approved. Uh, shareholders voted in majority in the agreement and approval of the pay package for Elon and also um, the move to tax Texas. So yeah, there are a couple of other things as well, but most importantly was for Elon's package. Yes, he needs to be paid. You know, that's the bottom line. That's what it comes down to. So let's talk about the price action. And in the post market, I was expecting some more movement to come. We had some couple of movements, but that was it. Um, we got sold off as well, but anyhow, I don't think that's something to worry about right now But let's take a look at all in all the price action Is this sell-off today that we got is this something to worry about or Can we still stay bullish now with that? Please note none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes I'm just sharing my opinion here so real quick, I want to start off with my just showing you my day trading bot today were two trades I think I showed you in the morning video as well First and the second trade we we were we are net profitable on the day for today as well And yeah, and also for the last 30 trades we are net profitable and if you need access to my tools links are in the description below of this video All right now well, Let's go back here and talking at uh, the daily interval first on Tesla all right so very first thing what we are seeing is that we are out of that supply zone or the for a month where we were resisting at $180 we are out and above that and not only that we are also out of that lower trending channel that uh, the top line that you are seeing over here is the is the one representing that overhead resistance of the channel that tesla is also out of so you can see this is acting on the weekly right for a year tesla has been in this channel so finally we are out of it at least if you see on the daily interval on weekly interval yes it shows up that's where the closing price is but it's if you see on the daily interval the closing price is above that channel line and also on weekly interval we have this inverted head and shoulder in formation now while I'm saying that, it's very important that tomorrow we got, get a green day. Yes, it's important for us to see a green candle tomorrow. That could be little, at least getting above 184. I'll show you on lower time frames what are those levels I'm watching, but it's important for us to stay there. And before that, um, I want to though mention that structure is bullish, guys. We are above 180 and taking out that uh, resistance zone has put tesla in the bullish structure if we start to get back into this channel and then break below 180 dollars and get lower then there is a problem so but until then that's fine this red candle today is fine it's just a gap fill and these order needs to be filled because if i take it to the hourly interval the you, you can see over here right like um, Tesla when it just even opened in the pre-market there was this huge gap up so and then Tesla is right now in the process of filling those orders so if it gaps lower even at 180 you know that's fine you can see it's getting bought, bought back up at the top of that channel line as well but the thing is that we need to see a buying happening then at 180 if it falls much lower now having said that let's talk about so yes structure is still bullish all right just keep that in mind we still have on lower time frame higher pivots here so if we lose this like 182 dollars range and get and lose eventually 180 then we have a problem in our hand okay but as long as we are above 180 right now the structure is still bullish so technically if on the lower time frame tomorrow you can you start to see the price action is holding around 180 dollars or so or even up here then this could be traded long with the stop loss below somewhere $180 range and size and size out accordingly but technically this is still a long play in my opinion below 180 I would not be fully bearish right away because we have 50 and 200 hours moving average coming from below right now as I said there's just more sentiment and more direction on Tesla to the on the bulls side let's go to the five minutes interval and here I want to show you 
the levels that if from here, if we don't have, let's say, 180 pullback, what are the levels to watch? Well, if we get straight up from here before just about the market is to about to open or when the market opens, we get above 184. That can give us some long play and then we need to take out 186 and let's see if we can test again 191. But that's the if, if we can get above 184, we can again test. There's a possibility of testing 190. If we start to go lower, then watch 180 if it holds as a support. If it does, that's great. If it doesn't, you can do whatever you want, but I would not touch it on the short side tomorrow. Because intraday, I'm still seeing on hourly interval, there is some good support sitting right now in the structure. But you can go and do whatever you want to do. All right, if, if any short play is taken, then definitely have a stop loss, and that stop loss could be above 182 and 66 cents area. This is where the stop loss needs to be there. All right, and yeah, so that's that. Yeah, I was expecting some more move to the upside and it's staying up there. I didn't get that, but um, yeah, anyways. Uh, we have, well, um, let's talk about some of the article. Tesla shareholders approve Elon Musk's massive pay package, but legal fight, for, legal fight far from over. And let's say what let's see what they're saying that um, this is just going over the summary. Um, Thursday's news puts a potentially disastrous scenario off the table, one in which Musk would leave Tesla and opted to dedicate more time to his other companies. The news lifts a major overhang on the shares, although we wouldn't be surprised by a sell the news reaction on Friday following big gains over the past two trading sessions. Uh, just take it as a grain of salt. This is just speculation. Just trade with the levers and the technicals. Um, the legal battle over the compensation plan is far from over, but we think the vote greatly strengthens Tesla's case, the analyst said. Tesla recognized that either way the vote went, it would, have, it would leave plenty of legal gray areas. The company said in the proxy documents that even a favorable vote by our stakeholders to ratify the 2018 CEO performance award may not fully resolve the matter and that it could not predict with certainty how a stakeholder board to ratify 2018 CEO performance award would be treated under Delaware law in these novel circumstances. Oh, well, so here's the thing, guys. If, let's say, the court still says no, you know, well, then that's hypocrisy. But if, let's say, you know, this is the system we live in. So let's say uh, Delaware says no no, can't do it, then the only way is that, you know, they will move to Texas and then they will restart the package process again. And yeah, I mean, look, it has to happen one way or the other. It might just be delayed or whatnot, but yeah. And, um, but yeah, that's that. And yeah, there was just a lot of discussions in that meeting and whatnot, but anyways, so that's that, guys. That's that. Tomorrow is a is another important day. We it's I would want to see a green candle. It's important if we want to stay in this bullish structure. Once we have a break of structure, let's say in this case to the upside, the next day we want to see a follow through to the upside as well, and that's very important as for a confirmed uh, you know structure hold and continuation to the upside. So we'll see what happens. But anyways. That's pretty much it for this video. If you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. And also, if you need access to my tools, links are in the description below. And with that, I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.